a large Muslim congregation event organized by Tablighi Jamaat, a global Islamic missionary movement held in Delhi's Nizamuddin area recently, has shaken the entire coronavirus hit India as the participants have scattered and travelled all over India with many showing symptoms of COVID-19 and actually now having been uh, tested positive as well. The congregation attended by more than 2,000 people, including foreign delegates, took place between March 13th and 15th in a mosque in Delhi's Nizamuddin area. By then, the Delhi government had already issued an advisory against large gatherings. The Tablighi Jamaat and the event have now come under a concentrated scrutiny. Let us know more about this Tablighi Jamaat and the Nizamuddin episode. Well, Tablighi Jamaat is an Islamic missionary movement that focuses on urging Muslims to return to practicing their religion as it was practiced during the lifetime of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. And particularly in matters of ritual, dress and personal behavior. The organization is estimated to have between 150 million to 250 million followers across the world, with the majority living in South Asia. It has been deemed as one of the most influential uh, religious movements in, in the 20th century Islam. Established in 1927, the movement aims for the spiritual reformation of Islam by working at the grassroot level. Tablighi Jamaat states that you know it, it rejects violence as a means for evangelism. However, it is reported in some sections and alleged that the movement has served as a fertile breeding ground for radical Islamic militancy in numerous countries, especially France, Spain and United Kingdom. Tablighi Jamaat has attracted a significant public and media attention in context of coronavirus pandemic. Between 27th February and 1st March 2020, this movement organized an international mass religious gathering at a mosque in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, which has been linked to more than 600 COVID-19 cases making it the largest known center of transmission of the virus in Southeast Asia, as reported. Despite the outbreak, Tablighi Jamaat organized a second international mass gathering on 18th March in Indonesia. And another gathering was organized in Pakistan near Lahore for 150,000 people. The event in Pakistan was called off in response to the official requests, but the participants had already gathered and communed together. So the damage was already done. Nizamuddin faction of the Tablighi Jamaat held a religious congregational program in Nizamuddin West Delhi. As we all know, it has been reported in various sections of media, both electro, uh, you know, electronic and print. This was in violation of the Delhi government order which said that no religious, social, political gatherings of over 50 people will be allowed in Delhi till March 31st, 2020. The Tablighi Jamaat also breached rules whereby foreign speakers misused tourist visas, as is reported, for their missionary activities and also did not abide by the 14-day home quarantine for travelers from abroad. It is believed that uh, the, the, the sources of infection were preachers from Indonesia. At least 24 of the attendees had tested positive for the virus amongst 300 who showed symptoms by 31st March 2020, a couple of days back. Many had returned to their states also and, and you know they were provided refuge uh, uh, to foreign speakers without the, the, the knowledge of local governments and you know eventually started local transmissions, especially in the states of Tamil Nadu, Telangana, uh, you know Karnataka, 
Jammu and Kashmir, NSM and Gujarat as well. As of 30th March 2020, the entire Nizamuddin West area has been cordoned off by the police and medical camps have been set up as we are seeing on the television and uh, even in the, in the print media. On 31st March 2020, an FIR was filed against the head of Nizamuddin faction of the Tablighi Jamaat and others by the Delhi Police Crime Branch under Section 3 of the Epidemic Disease Act 1897 and Sections 120B, uh, 269, 270, 271 of the Indian Penal Code uh, dealing with the offences of criminal conspiracy, negligent and malignant act likely to spread infection uh, of disease and disobedience to the quarantine rule. Let us see how the whole investigation you know, will unfold uh, in the coming days uh, with one of the state high courts also having taken Suomoto, uh, you know, cognizance of, of this serious ma matter and, and, call, and, have, and have called for reports from the center as well as from the state.